Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. As most of you in the county are aware, our county is facing an unusual situation, and that's Hurricane Irene. I just wanted to provide some really quick tips for the community on making sure that we stay safe and secure. Being prepared. I'll tell you, the one thing I can always say to everybody is I'd rather you have the food, the extra gas, and the things that you're going to need and not need those than to be in a position where you needed those and you didn't have them. So it's a good idea to take a little bit of time today, be prepared, make sure that you're ready for the hurricane over the next few days. But remember one thing, leading up to the hurricane, but what are you gonna do after the hurricane comes? Different things like not having power in your house and different things, make sure that you're prepared with water, canned food and things like that. It's really important to take that extra time and get that done today and tomorrow. The one question we get in law enforcement all the time is, what exactly is a state of emergency and what happens if the county is declared or the state is in a state of emergency. What we're asking is that in a state of emergency, no citizens are out riding around the community. Let law enforcement and emergency responders be the ones that are out there driving around to ensure everyone's safety. When cars and people are out there in the community and out there on the roadway, they create hazards for law enforcement and emergency responders responding to calls for service. You could be stranded, you could be caught in a stream, anything could happen out there, down power lines, trees. So it's really important if the county is ever in a state of emergency or the state is in that, please don't be out driving around, don't be out taking pictures, and please obey the law when it is a state of emergency. Please understand also that police response and emergency response is gonna be extremely taxed during this period of time. It's important that if you have an emergency, you do call 911. If there is a law enforcement related issue, a minor theft or things like that where you don't need a deputy to respond directly at that minute, we're asking that you give us a phone call on our office line, 410-758-0770 and file your police report with a deputy who will answer the phone. Also, if it is an emergency and you do need police services, someone's life is in danger or something like that, please dial 911 and make sure that an officer is responding to your location. Understand though that calls will be prioritized during this period of time and during this storm. So, for example, if you have a stolen bicycle, you may not get police response as quickly as you would if it was a domestic or something of that nature. So please understand that resources will be taxed and also that police response may be delayed due to weather. The delay may be because of roadways being flooded, because of trees, or because of heavy call volume or something of that nature. Understand that law enforcement will respond to you as quickly as they possibly can. Asking that you check on your neighbors. If you have elderly neighbors or you have a neighbor that you're not familiar with, it's a great time to go over and meet them. See if there's anything they need, see if there's anything you need and work together and partner together. If something should happen at your house or theirs, hopefully your neighbors will be able to help you out and you will be able to help them out. That's what it's all about. Queen Anne's County is a great place and that's the one thing we have that's really important. There's always neighbors helping neighbors. So in this time of need and during this storm process, stay safe but make sure that you contact your neighbors and talk to them so that everybody can help everybody out during this time. It's really important to educate your kids. Let your children know what to expect during the storm, that there is gonna be heavy rain, that there is gonna be high winds, and that there possibly will be power outages. It's a great idea to take the time to buy coloring books, crafts, different things that your kids can do without power. We all know today our kids are way too dependent on a lot of things that we rely on, whether it's video games or different types of electronic devices. Let our kids know now that this is a time when they may not be able to use those devices so it's really important to let our kids know that there may be alternative things that they can do. It's so important to please don't let your kids go out and play in the puddles, the streams, on fallen trees, and near or around power lines. These are critical areas during a storm. Your kids could easily be swept away in floodwaters. Your kids could easily be injured by falling debris or live power lines that are on the ground. Let your kids know that it's not safe to go out and play around these things. Although they may look like they're fun, the water, the trees, please don't let your kids go out and play. Even after the storm passes, make sure the environment's safe for your kids to go out and play in. And think about your pets. It's really important to make sure that you've got ample food for your animals and also a clean area for litter use 
for your animals as well, as they may not be able to go outside as well. The one thing that's really important to remember during a storm is that something we're all dependent on is cell phones. It's important to know that cell phones may not be operational. You may not even be able to charge the cell phones. So it's important to turn the cell phones off after they have a full charge and leave them off unless you need them for an emergency. It'll also reduce the amount of communication going over the cell lines and leave those open for other people. Understand too that your hardline phones, the phones that are wired in your house, may also not be operational. For storm preparedness, it's a really good idea, while you have internet, to go to ready.gov. It's so important to be prepared for the storm before it gets here and also after the storm in case you don't have power or necessary items. Again, visit ready.gov, get all the latest information as far as what you would need to weather the storm. It's so important to be safe, take care of your neighbors, check on the elderly, and report anything that's life-threatening to law enforcement or fire officials. But please don't overutilize or burden the 911 system with calls they could wait.